Hey everyone, welcome back to SFDC Ninja and I am here with brand new video of Apex Trigger Scenario Series. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So first we will understand the data model for this scenario, like which objects and fields we are going to use today. So in this scenario, we are going to use two objects, Opportunity and Deal Review. Here Deal Review is a custom object and both Opportunity and Deal Review object are in lookup relationship. This is the data model. Now let's understand this scenario. So in today's scenario, whenever an opportunity stage name gets updated to closed one, then we need to share the deal review records with the opportunity owners manager. So this is what we need to do today. I hope the scenario is clear to you. It's time to code. So let's go to VS code and create our handler class. Let's name it opportunity figure handler. Let's create our method. Now guys, a trigger should get fired on update operation. I mean, when stage name of opportunity record gets updated, right? That's why we need to ensure that stage name of opportunity records has been updated. Now the question arises that how can we ensure it? So to ensure that stage name of opportunity has been updated, we need to compare old value and new value of stage name field. And for that, we'll be needing old value of stage field which we can easily fetch by using trigger.oldmap. So what we will do, we will pass two parameters like this. Opportunity and here let's name it closed one ops. So in first parameter, we will pass trigger.new from a trigger, which means this parameter is equal to trigger.new. Now let's pass another parameter. Let's name it old OPP map. And in this parameter, we will pass trigger.old map, which means this parameter is equal to trigger.old map. Now, in first step, we will store ID of opportunity in a set if the stage name field gets updated to close one. For that, let's iterate over this list, copy its name, apply a null check on it. and iterate over it apply a null check on this map and here using this map we will store the old version of opportunity record which is being updated in an instance so let's create an instance of opportunity like this Old OPP, copy its name, paste it here. Old OPP map dot get and pass new opportunity ID. So now this instance holds the old version of opportunity record which is being updated. Now here we will apply a check. You can say a comparison check on stage name like this dot stage name not equals to closed one and new stage name is closed one now if this condition will get true I mean if the opportunity stage gets updated to closed one, then we will simply store the opportunity ID in a set. So let's create a set to store it. New set ID and here, copy its name, paste it here, dot add. new opp dot id let's apply a null check on this set now see we need to give access of deal review records to opportunity owners manager so first we need to fetch all deal review records of the opportunity which is being updated right so let's fetch it 
deal review related uh, let's name it custom object select id opportunity from deal review where opportunity is in this set guys it is pretty much clear that in this scenario we need two things first thing we need is deal review records which we already have in this list second thing we need is the id of manager of the opportunity owner so now our next task is to get the manager id of the owner of the opportunity which is being updated and in this list we have all those opportunity records which are getting updated so what we will do we will store the owner id of this opportunity in a set so let's create another set like this copy this set name paste it here and here add the owner id Basically, we will use the ID present in this set to fetch the manager ID. Now guys, we have a small challenge. Basically, deal review records are connected to the opportunity and it is also connected to the opportunity owner. But deal review records and opportunity managers are not connected. Or you can say that we cannot directly access the opportunity owner's manager by deal review records. So we have to set up a system to share these records with the manager. So what we can do, we can create a map in which in key we will store the user id or you can say owner id and in value we will store the manager id. So let's create a map like this, owner to manager map and now store the data in it like this for user select id manager id from user where id is in this set copy this map name paste it here dot put user dot id and in value manager id now guys you must be thinking that what is the purpose of using this map so the purpose of using this map is that we can easily fetch the manager id by just passing owner id or you can say user id in get method of this map we will see it later but before that let's iterate over this list of its name for deal review let's name it custom obj and here first we will fetch the manager id like this copy this map name paste it here dot get custom obj uh, okay so here we will pass the owner id of opportunity record so first let's fetch it in this list like this copy this one and paste it here so here we got the id of the user to which we need to give access now we will create a share object of deal review object like this deal review share uh, let's name it custom object share parent id we need to give id of this record guys basically this shared record is what will actually grant access to manager 
in previous video which is scenario number 63 i have already explained the concept of shear object you can check it out coming back to code now here using this shear object let's provide access to manager of opportunity owner like this user or group id manager id we need to give access level so it will be read we will not perform dml inside for loop so let's create a list for share object copy this list name paste it here and add share records in it and here apply another check on this list and finally insert it save it and deploy it to org Okay, we are getting error. It is saying that the user or group ID is not exist. Okay. Now it is successfully deployed. So we have our handler class ready. Now let's create a trigger. Let's name it OBPTRG. Now it is obvious that our trigger will be on opportunity object with after update event. So let's write opportunity here after update. Here we will apply a check like this. This check is to ensure that our handler class should run only for after update event. Copy our class name, paste it here. TRG method. In first parameter, we will pass trigger.new, and in second parameter, we will pass trigger.oldmap. Save it and deploy it to work. It is successfully deployed. We have our code ready. It's time to see it in action. So let's go to our org. In our org, we already have this opportunity record. Now, what we'll do? We will update the stage name to close one. Oh, but first let's open this record. And here you can see that as of now, this record is not being shared with anyone. Now let's update the stage name. Click on save. Okay, we are getting error so guys in previous scenario also we got the same error now to solve this error we need to change the owd to private click on save refresh this page and now let's update the stage name again go to this deal review record and let's check that whether our code is working fine or not so here as you can see that manager of the record owner gets the read only access which means our trigger is working fine so that's it for today guys if you have any scenario you would like me to make a video on please do leave a comment thank you and keep watching